everyone. Start in the stream. How's everyone doing today? I'm just preparing to go mine some resources so we can finish off our horde base. Yeah, steel pickaxe. Hey, Ron. Oh, the new steel pickaxe is gonna be so nice. I'm going to put what I can on to cook before I leave. Just to make sure that things are actually progressing. Our next horde will be day 42. So it probably will be Thursday stream, most likely. Siren on. Both casings. And what little stone I have can go on as well. Don't really have a huge amount to work with, but. That's okay, that's, I mean, that's why we're going to go gather resources. What else should I put on this? I need one of, not the structural braces, I need this, an ergonomic grip for it. It reduces stamina usage, and the stamina usage on the steel pickaxe is pretty high. Actually, I guess I'll just move it over and whatever. My ratchet will be fine with only one mod. I'm not using it right now anyways. i put the ratchet in here though, because I don't actually need it right now. So, we very, very badly need stone, and lead, and... What don't we need? <laughs> we need most, of, most, most everything right now, though, so that'll be just what we focus on. Oh wow, I can take these out in two shots. Crazy. Where the hell is my bait? My... Okay, here is my mine. I need to actually like put something here so I can remember where the fuck it is. Which what okay, it opens that way. Okay, I'm gonna put that right there. That'll defend me when I'm nearby. Put my stuff on the bar. Okay, I need to bring some porches down here to light things up. That would help a lot. Actually, I guess I can I can just go grab that. I have time. I can also put a torch at the top of the mine too. But yeah, I want to get some concrete and stuff going, and just have more resources to work with. We don't actually need a huge amount more resources for the Horde base specifically. It's going to be fine. But we are going to have to make a house at some point. Like an actual house for us to stay in and not just this converted farmhouse.
and that we are going to need resources for very badly because I want to make a really big house if we can okay here's animal fat animal fat cloth wood uh, it's actually morning right now in game so I'm gonna just gonna stay in the mine as long as we need to actually get a decent amount of stuff done and I'll come up when we have enough stuff really okay torches I do not need 42 torches make 10 that's fair make 10 and I'll make some blocks actually make some wood blocks no I'm just gonna bring wood with me let's let's not be silly about this But yeah, I'm more or less I'm going to be in the mine for a while. We're just going to chill to some music, do some mining, and get prepared. I will not be wishing I had 42 torches. I do not need 42 torches for anything. That is in fact a waste. So, what's the best place to do this? Picking up the turret. Okay, so I want a fairly small pillar. And I want to not look too stupid when I put the torch on it, ideally. I just want to see what would actually fit that description. I saw a zombie over there. Heard a zombie over there. A few of them. You know what? Let's just clear this before it becomes an actual issue. Nope, we're clear. Okay. Let's try to find something. I want to. I would ideally like to make something that looks kind of like a tiki torch here. Huh. Whole centered corner. What does this look like? Oh, I have an idea. Okay, I need uh, a not centered corner. I need just a normal centered one. No. If it's gonna be... Wait. Where is this attached to? Okay, so it is attached to the side, so we're gonna want not a centered pole for this. We're gonna want... Okay, we want that sort of centered. Okay, no, I'm not... Not gonna jump for this. Let's... Let's do this the right way. So that I don't just misplace this and it would be stupid. Aha! Please work. Yeah! Mm. Well, I mean, hmm. Uh. Fix that somehow. I put another pole on top of it. Maybe. Yeah, it kind of worked. It's just not attached in the right spot. Okay, this will be the right one. I want to lay it down. Like that. Okay. 
Now if I attach this here, will I have the same problem, but on the other side? Yes. Yes, I will. Yes, now that even looks worse. <laughs> sure, let's, let's just say that's right. It actually looks kind of cool from a distance. Like, you can't even tell that it's not right. <laughs> Actually, let me get a little... That's a nice, cheeky little screenshot. Yeah, get in there. Get in there! Thank you. Okay, so... Our vision's gonna, like, darken a bit, because now that we're in the mine, so... Actually, hold on a second. If I put it right there... There... Oh, right, I forgot the sledge. Good point. It'll just hang out here for me. If anything tries to hit the the hatch, it will... It will... Fuck it up. Hello, Han. So this, that helps. What if I put it there? Does that make it hard to get down the ladder or anything? Nope. It just, you just walk through it. Okay. Cool. That's fine. Put that there, seeing as I will pit. Oh, now that looks perfect! Okay. There we go. Okay, so that looks like a support beam. I'm curious what the stability of this looks like. Show stability. Weirdly good. Oh, and I guess you don't see this ability of the dirt. Okay. I'll leave the debug menu there since we are going to eventually need to use it to check our treehouse when we work on it later. Oh, it one-shots things. That's so nice. Okay. Coffee? Rockbusters. Oh, this is going to make this so much faster. Ooh, level 40, nice. Finally. Man, with lots of people here tonight. Hello, anyone new? Yeah, of course I'm leveling. You get a lot of XP from mining. Perfectly regenerates my stamina. I'm happy that I can regenerate the stamina. I can regenerate enough stamina to sustain steel tools like this because it speeds things up so much. Like, we're already at 8,000 stone. Which is great because, I mean, in the long run. 
think I'd like at least 30,000. I mean, we're gonna use it, so... Any amount is good. Especially because I want to make a decently large house. When we do make it. Because we're gonna make one separate from the Horde base. The Horde base is just for the Horde. We didn't really create it with uh, the uh, different space in mind. Uh, the Rockbusters increases the amount of... The Rockbuster candy that I ate increases the amount of harvest resources you harvest. Regardless whether it be stone or iron or sand. Like anything, anything that is a considered a raw resource, it increases the amount you get from it. So I'm not hitting any harder, but I am getting more at a time. It makes it more efficient. That's probably... probably helping me get... <laughs> it's probably helping me right now, considering I now have... almost... 16,000 stone. Okay, 30,000 isn't going to be very unreasonable, that's for sure. Eighteen thousand. Actually, I wonder. I wonder what I should be doing for stability for this place because I don't want to like drop it on my head. Do I have more? No, I don't. Copy shape. I guess I'm just gonna put it over here. No, actually, that's a bad place, because we already have the torch there. Hmm. Clear the space here. Because I'm eventually going to be expanding over there. Oh, I need an upgrade tool. Okay. There we go. Hopefully that'll help a little bit with the lighting. I don't know for sh Oh, I didn't even have my, my headlamp on anymore. Hopefully, I'm not going to drop the ceiling on me. I don't really know how the stability stuff works with dirt. It's kind of kind of complicated trying to understand the stability engine in this game and like I'm not a hundred percent sure that it actually works like as intended. Because there's definitely times where, like, something probably should have fallen, but it doesn't. And there's times when it definitely shouldn't have fallen. Treehouse. And it does. Though I am kind of happy that we ended up with the design we did, because it is way better than the original design. Twenty thousand stone. I'm still a little salty about the tree. I was, I was crashing to the ground. That was a really sad day. It's okay, though. It all worked out in the end. Thankfully, it's not going to be as hard to get the resources now. Like, this new pickaxe is amazing. Oops. Don't want to dig the dirt.
it'll affect the stability if I like dig up much. So I'm trying not to. We only have like five or six layers of dirt there, so I don't really want to make it any more accessible to zombies than I have to. And by it, I mean me. And the mine. Ooh, we got some gold. Which is just a random chance. You have a random chance to get rare minerals uh, once you read the Art of Mining book. Which you can just find at random, and we already read it. Gravel. Gravel's the same as stone, it's just already processed. Like, partially processed, and that's nice, because otherwise I have to spend time with my cement mixer, like, converting all, this, all the stones to sand. That's a pain. Wait, this is lead! Did I already know that there was going to be lead down here? Then between iron and potassium nitrate, I didn't... Huh, okay. Let me clear out some space then. And I can go after this lead mine. What do I have on my pickaxe, actually? Okay, I do have iron breaker, so I have... I can... I can break iron. I don't know if that counts for iron and. I don't know if that if that is iron or metals. The wording in this game isn't always incredibly accurate. In any case, though, we have no lead, so this will be nice. So, a bit of a surprise, both to y'all and for me, <laughs> I put out a uh, Path of Exile video today, and I have one scheduled to go up on Thursday as well. Uh, I did not actually plan to do any more Path stuff, but I realized I had two more Master Memories to do, and I felt like doing them, so I decided to go grab, just bang them out and put them out. They're actually really fun. They both work with Harvest, so... And Harvest used to be my favorite league. Until... The Ban Hammer. Not the Ban Hammer, the, like, Admin Hammer hit it. The Nerf Gun! That's what I'm looking for. I nerfed that league into oblivion. Poor Harvest. You were too good for this world. That is why everyone became jealous of your power, and your greed got to them, and they had to remove you. One day I'll be able to one-shot the metal as well. I don't know why I can do so much damage to the stone, but not the metal. Because the stone has 500 durability, and the metal has 600. But I'm only doing 406 damage each, each attack for some reason. If I update to uh, Miner 69er, if I upgrade it, then that will help. To the last level. Okay, so this doesn't- oh, it doesn't affect your stamina, but it does change your block damage. Okay, well, I don't know if 10% is going to be enough, but it'll help, probably. Problem is that I need level- oh, I only need level 7 strength. That's not so bad. But it's 2 points per strength right now, so I need another 4 points before I can get either of these, unfortunately. Can't 
get Spearman yet. Increased reload speed for explosives? What? Oh, I guess the rocket launcher counts, but that's kind of a weird perk. Infiltrator. Loose board traps and landmines trigger slower and less damage than landmines. Oh, actually, if I level up perception once more, I can see. Did I can see deers, boars, wolves, and coyotes on my map, but as far as I know, there aren't any wolves around here at all, or boars in the wild, as far as I can tell. It would be interesting to see if there are any somewhere. Though I already have enough food, so I don't really need this that badly. Oh, I could go for salvage operations. I get more resources with the with the ratchet and have less stam use less stamina, which would be really good because my stamina consumption with deconstructing things is pretty high. I can also just get like normal healing. Oh, critical injuries heal faster. Oh, that's so good. Living up the land. If I want to go farming. Hmm. There's a lot of really hard choices to make. Though I really badly need to get more into Machine Gunner, because, like, that's my main weapon. I only need 4 to level 3 for the next level. Oh, I could get Light Armor benefits. I mean, I am using Light Armor. Reduces movement penalty and stamina penalty. I mean, more stamina for everything is nice. Wait, does that mean if I make my character naked, then I can mine better? Uh, this, this apparently doesn't affect stamina. Uh, oh, the military leg armor decreases your stamina. And the military boots. So if I walk around barefoot, I can mine better. That's kind of silly. Oh, and I also wanted to go farther in, <laughs> farther into stealth stuff. Uh, there's just so many, so many things that I want to get. Like every perk has some sort of benefit. Next to better trader items. Ooh. Engineering. I don't need to craft bicycles better. More lockpick. Ah, it's all so good. I'll worry about that later, though. I wonder if my if my turret will get the screamer. Is a wandering horde, or is that a screamer? No, it's a wandering horde. I heard one. Why are there so many zombies everywhere? What is going on? Oh, the screamer screamed, that's why. And there's a wandering horde.
Hard to do it from this distance. Oh, fucking screamers. Did the screamer scream and call another screamer? Yeah, so the problem with screamers is sometimes they scream and they don't spawn anything. It's kind of hard to tell the difference between a, like, I've screamed and I'm some zombies and a, I'm here. Because they do in I'm here screen as well. Well, that was a lot of XP at least. Yeah, more than halfway to the next level. Ooh, steel. Okay. Looks like that helped. I'll have to remember to put this guy down near my house when I'm over there. There's no point doing it right now because there's a range for the personal turrets. You can only have one active at a time and you have to be close to them. Or they deactivate. Oh, I need... Oh. Eat that. Drink coffee. Eat Rockbusters. Ten thousand It's a good start. Three thousand lead. You definitely get lead slower than anything else. thinking about it, like, there's a lot of really good perks that we could take from the skill tree, and they all feel, like, super good and valuable. And it kind of makes me wonder if they put too much stress on the skill tree, and what I mean by that is, like, there's a lot of competition for your points, just of, like, good things. Like, for example, if you want to farm, you pretty much need the uh, living off the land perk, because even the first level doubles the amount that you get from farming. And it's kind of awful to do it otherwise, but that's one other perk that you would just have to do. You just have to go with. And, like, seeds are pretty expensive to craft, and so are farm plots, and it helps with that, too. But, like, you could just increase the yield of farming a bit, and, like, have it only, like, a one or two point skill tree rather than a five point skill tree. And then there wouldn't be so much emphasis on getting that sort of stuff and then like if you really want to get into farming like it can be like something you pick potentially but like it's not required so like it helps you specialize but it doesn't like it isn't the difference between whether you are able to do something and not able to do something like the lock picking tree the lock picking tree helps you a lot like it's really nice but and like it helps you lock pick faster but it's not required for you to do it. It just makes lockpicking faster and decreases the amount of lockpicks you use. I 
don't know, I just feel like maybe they need to have less perks that are just so important to grab that, like, you can't pick anything else. And they it used to be that way with Master Chef, the cooking perk, but now with uh, the way that they've set up how skill books work, you now can just go through and like gain their skill books through looting. So there's the crafting stuff isn't focused on the perk tree, which is good. I like that. Careful I don't get hit by falling gravel or anything. That would hurt. And could break my bones. I feel like if there's ever a perk that... Going back to it, I feel like if there's ever a perk that you need to pick irregardless how you like to play the game that you should change you should like add that as something you can just get in the game some other way like just increasing the yield of farming for example like it should never be required for you to pick any particular perk because the more stuff that's required for everyone to have the less specialization you can have like I might have to pick that, like, the farming perk, over, let's say, picking a spear perk, which should make it harder for me to specialize in spears. Obviously, it's a minor concern, but it's something I feel like would be good to change. Or at least, like, consider other avenues. Let's look at the tree, actually. So I think most of the combat perks, if not all of them... Yeah. Most of the combat perks, if not all of them, are specializations. Like, you don't need any of them to be to use those weapons. It just makes you better at it, and I think that's good. That's I think that's how it should be played and what's healthy for it. Um, then you start to get into stuff like the other general perks, and that kind of starts to concern me. Like, Animal Tracker, it's cool. I don't think you need it. I don't think every character needs it, so I, I think that's fine. Infiltrator, decreases damage to landmines. I mean, hey, if you see yourself having that problem, that, that's fine. I don't think every character needs that. A lot of these things I don't think every character needs. Looting faster and loot bonus. Mm. This is something every character has to choose, more or less. Which I don't really like. But also, it does give you more ability as you go on later. And, like, that natural progression is good. It almost makes me feel like it would be good to remove Lucky Looter as a thing just in general and have it so that as you level up, you gain a loot bonus and you start to loot faster. Just like the higher level you are, the better loot you'll find and the faster you'll loot because you have quote-unquote experience. I'm, I'm doing air quotes. You can't see it, but I'm doing air quotes. <laughs> the buried treasure stuff just makes it easy to find the treasure. Yep, that's... You don't need that. It's not required. Salvage operations. Get more resources from salvaging. You can just salvage more. Not required. What else do we have? Pack Mule is good, but it's not required necessarily. Because uh, you can, just through items, remove all your encumbrance slots. So that is a possibility too. It's just a little bit harder. 
minor 69er again more block damage less stamina usage like it's really good and i don't think there is a single unless you're in like a large community server where like you don't have to do any resource collecting whatsoever like i feel like even in that case i feel like you still need a minor 69er just so that you can break into places or like use an axe to break open crates and stuff like i feel like there's a lot of things that require this to the point that like again if it was based on level then that would probably help and like you can see what your bonus. let's see say you could have it in the character screen like you could just see what is your bonus to loot what is your bonus to loot speed what is your bonus to block damage on on tools like that type of stuff could just end up right here and be fine i really don't think that it would be an issue Mother load just increases the amounts that you of stuff that you get. I think to a certain extent this is at least the first level I think every single person should get, but not every not it's not a hundred percent needed. What else do we have here? Again, combat perks are fine. Huntsman, harvest more resource animals, fine. Well insulated fine i don't think anyone needs it farming living off the land i've already i've already said my thoughts on that pain tolerance reduces hp loss and less chance to stun that is worth specking into if you're getting hit a lot that's that's a specialization thing i think it's fine um i think with healing factor you should have a natural healing of like one health every let's say 120 seconds or every 90 seconds or something like i feel like that would be worth it and then maybe decrease this to like a three level perk tree and then just make it powerful basically uh iron gut is just in general really really good uh But you can work around it for most cases, so I feel like it's fine. Rule 1 Cardio. Increase stamina by hundred by 10% when sprinting. Oh, I feel like every single person needs as many levels in this as they possibly can get. I don't really know how you'd factor it in, though, because, like... I don't know, like, every... I mean, you could literally get, like, 2% stamina regen while sprinting, like, every 5 levels or something. And then by level 50, it'd be the exact same as having the second level of roll one cardio. Like, I feel like tying more things to leveling up would be worth it. Again, these are all just my my points of view i'm sure there are other points against this firing better from the hip that specialization thing armor i feel like some amount of this of the armor perks both the light and heavy armor need to be incorporated into the armor themselves like i feel like you don't i don't have like i don't have organized thoughts on this so i'm not going to comment too much but i feel like there's something you could probably do with the two armor perks uh parkour safe falling farther seems like we're specializing in the same thing with the stealth stuff um i feel like hidden strike is not powerful enough as like a five as a five tree here like i feel like well, I feel like 50% extra damage on a sneak attack, so let's say going up from, let's say, three and a half times to four times doesn't make a big difference a lot of the time. So, like, it, I feel like it'd be much, much nicer if, like, this required you to get farther into agility and then just had three levels, which was just, like, deal 100% extra damage, 200%, 300 kind of thing. So, like, if you want to be an agility person that that's just how that works. And finally, this stuff. I don't think I really have any problems with most of this stuff.
more XP. Medical items heal more or over time. Yeah, I think most of the rest of this stuff is just stuff you can specialize in and that doesn't really matter. So it's kind of up to you. Uh, I don't feel like the Grease Monkey perk is very good, though. Just in general. Because, like, why would I put a point into this so I can craft bicycles better? Like, by the time I'm here now, I, I'm not going to craft a bicycle. It's just kind of pointless. Like, I like the fact that it increases how effective the repair kits are. That's good. And I think it should should make vehicles more efficient to craft in a more linear fashion, like 5% cheaper for all vehicle parts, 10% cheaper for all vehicle parts kind of thing, and like have it scale up. That would make way more sense because ha like, like let's say I make a motorcycle, the first three perks here are useless, minus the uh, increased effectiveness of repair kits. That's not, I don't like that. <laughs> Okay. Thank you all for staying through my rant. <laughs> Apparently I have opinions on this. I didn't realize that till now. Should actually keep, like, mining and stuff. Wow, the day basically ended already. Live and learn, more like live and regret. No. I don't regret being here and streaming with y'all. Or ranting. I mean, let's face it, if you're here listening to me for... I mean, we've been here an hour already, and if you're still listening to me, then you're probably okay with me ranting. Because, I mean, that's kind of just part of my personality, I think. I have strong opinions about things. I try to make sure those strong opinions are well researched. Or at least well informed, I should say. Oh, I should run back to the house, actually. I should dump off some of the stuff in my inventory. Like, I have more than enough space in my inventory for shit, but, like, I it would be good to put more stuff onto craft. Also, that's 30,000 right there. So we have 34,400 right now. Stone. That's perfect. We definitely need more cement mixers is what I'm learning right now. There's a screen run upstairs. Yeah, come close to the hatch and let my my thing punt you. I think it just went off. D. Come on. Get her. It punted her. Oh, it's back. Punt her again! <laughs> Hopefully it won't scream based on that. Uh... Oh, it was on fire because the turret! I was like, why is there a flaming zombie? Oh, it's funny. Okay. I made a mess of this area over here. Like, I also kind of want the metal that's over here, so... Is there more... Lots of iron. That's all iron. There was more... Where was the lead? The lead was mainly, like, around here. It's even here. 
Did we empty all the lead out? I guess it did come set me on fire. This girl is on fire. Okay, seriously though, I will run back now. Okay, we have more than enough coffee and stuff here. <laughs> I know. Oh my god, put her out! She's gonna die like this! that there. Oh, fuck. What are you doing in my house? Fuck! Uh-oh. 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 Uh-oh! <laughs> oh god, what do they do in my house? Rude little fuckers. Oh no. Okay, she's finally dead. Uh, the problem is that she called everyone. someone. What the fuck? What's going on there? Oh, hello. Okay. Oh, this house is getting ripped apart. This is why we need to move, among other reasons. Do I have any... Hmm. I'm going to take some of the spike traps and put them out. I don't really want to invest in this property in any way, but I also don't want the house to fall down. A few spikes aren't going to be worth too much, though. I'll be fine. There. Okay, and I'm going to fill in this hole. Unless I'm standing outside crafting at night, that's not a good idea. Okay, well that'll seal that hole up at least. And here's another cobblestone block for this. Uh, I need I need to fill these holes, otherwise we're gonna have a problem. I think there's three holes to fill. Maybe more than three. Hmm. I mean, I don't really want... Again, I don't really want to invest too much in this house. So, like... Here, can I put some here? Yeah. Okay. 
I'll seal up the front at least. Okay, so we're we're making progress. That's good. We'll get this house sorted soon. Oh, it's always these little things that are in the way. Oh, wrong one. That'll help a little bit. Don't want to take that out because it might take down the roof. We have still here. Let's see. Stability. Okay. So we have some stuff that is stability 12. That's not good. That's like the minimum. Ladder stability 10. So that's about to fall off, basically. Yeah, I don't really want to take out anything. I wish I could check the stability in-game, like, without dev tools, but... Oh well. Okay. 155 hours, yeah. Or 155 minutes, that sounds perfect. Gonna use it. Okay, I can put a stupid amount of lead in there. Nope, not that. Make some more bolt casings. Finally the iron. I have way more than enough clay. Fill the iron furnace! Put even more in. I do this the right way. Do I need more iron arrowheads before I start putting on a shit ton of forged steel, though? Uh, or forged iron? Yeah, I should make some more arrowheads. And I guess 500 will be more than enough. Do we need nails? What are, how are we doing for nails? The 43. We'll make more. We haven't actually used our nails yet, but we will use them soon. Because you can make some really nice store like storage boxes you can write on with them. So I'm going to want a ton of nails. Maybe not that many. 207. <laughs> That'll give me 250 total. Okay, so do I have cooked cement already out here? No, I have no cement. Just finished concrete. Oh, let me put that on. I should also make at least one more cement mixer. You can move them, so I don't mind making it ahead of time. Now we need our engines. This is why we kept so many. I'm going to make three. So I'm going to need three engines for that. Which will probably be as many as we'll need for the rest of the game, realistically. Springs. Need 30 mechanical parts. And I need 75 forged steel. Wow, we have a lot of forged steel, I didn't realize that. Or forged... I keep saying that. Forged iron. We have over 2,000 forged iron. That's perfect. Okay. Three cement mixers on to craft. And then... Realistically... I can only put 10,000 on at a time. Wait, no, I don't want 10,000. What am I doing? <laughs> do I want 10,000? Actually, I want 10,000. 
That sounds perfect. Okay, I'm down to 15,000 stone from my, like, 35,000. That did not take long to go away. I could really use... wherever the hell it is. Oh no, I could use glue very badly. Do I have glue cooking? No, okay. How am I doing? Water. 18. Do I have more upstairs? Fifteen. Perfect. I'll put 20 glue on them. I think. No, I can do more. Do a 30. I need wood. Okay, 15 in here. Actually, they don't take very long. I'll put it all on here. Wood block. I'm gonna make some. So I can have them on me. And I'm going... Well, I don't have the glue or the duct tape yet, but I need to make more repair kits, which, if I remember correctly, are duct tape and iron. Forged iron, yeah. I'll just make a small amount for now. Okay, so let's find out what how many raw resources we actually need still. Okay, so we can always take more stone. Uh, we still don't even have our lead furnace filled, so I want more of that. We're okay on iron right now. We have a lot of potassium nitrate. We badly need coal. Badly need coal. Iron, lead, potassium nitrate, coal. What am I missing? Is that all of it? Oh, it technically is oil shale, but I can't do that unless I go to the desert, and I don't know where a desert is. Hmm. Okay, so... We need coal do that, we need to find a place for a coal mine. I'm going to go grab some stuff from the basement area, from the mine. Oh, we turned it last second. Rude. No, I don't... Not trying to explode these legs. Okay, let's grab the mini bike because I don't know how far I have to go for coal. Ideally, not too far. Oh, well, that's why there's lead. There's a lead vein right there. 
Hmm. I guess I can start to dig over there to get more lead. Let's try to like circle around the house, see if there's any close by coal veins. The normal rock. Lots of rocks. Okay, and this is a prefab, so it's not going to be here. And this is also prefab. Ah! It's a ramp. Iron. I guess it'll be around here somewhere. Oh no, it's rainy again. No more rocks. No more rocks. Damn. Stop popping in. Already starting to get fairly far away from the house. I might have to just pick a mine somewhere else. Actually, wait, we definitely don't know where a desert is, right? That's that's all wasteland and we have snow. We don't know where the deserts are. Cause if we could find a desert, we could go over there and make a coal oil shale mine. Cause that is more than doable. Oh. Oops. Stop moving. Yeah, whatever. This is not the weather to be riding a motorcycle in. <laughs> or any other sort of open cab thing. Johnny Town. That sounds like a full name. Mr. Town. Johnny Town. Wait, is it possible there's no coal in this biome? Shit, there's possibly no coal in this biome. Okay, so there is coal in this biome. <laughs> Never mind. That suits my purposes. I can instant break the coal too, which is really nice. I don't know if I said this, but the coal is used for gunpowder. Which is why I want it. Oh, lead, nice. Okay, let's call it right there. will be the ladder. I need a hatch. Get over 
No, no. Gosh darn it. Eh, go there, please. Okay. I need uh, one more ladder. more letters? Is this... Hmm. Actually, I think I can flatten some of this out. I need some frames, though. Uh, dogs. Dogs. Are. Um. Hmm. Bow. And they're none the wiser. It's a silent weapon. I know you're over there. There you are. Is that all of them? Nope! Cool. Oh, this is good. We're gonna get a bunch of leather now. Also a bunch of rotten flesh, which will be really useful, because I do at some point want to make a farm. Any more? Harvest? No, I think I'm out. Good thing I left my bike over by the coal vein, because I immediately forgot where I was. No, let's let's put these aside and not take my tar off my bar. My bar tar. If you will. No one messes my, messes with my bar tar. Nice little clear area. Oh wait, I don't have anything to repair to upgrade these with. This is actually a great chance for me to get some clay. Well, not a huge amount, but some. This is so much faster being able to instant break blocks, though. We go two down. Edges. Actually, you know what? No. I'll go a little bit farther. I can afford the wood. <laughs> oh, 
also coal. All right, up to 2,000 coal. Do I have enough lo enough there? Not logs, blocks. Almost. And then hatch. Actually, first. Make some cobblestone rocks. You know, just so we have something. Grab those. Actually, instead of scrapping them. Shape. Full centered. Can I make a stone axe? Yes, I can. Okay, I'll use this to upgrade them. Oh, I don't have any... I don't have any torches on me. I don't think. Oh, I guess this is going to be cobblestone rocks then. Okay, I need another 40 or 20, 20 cobblestone rocks, okay. Oh, I did get some animal fat. Can I make a I can make a candle? <laughs> what am I missing for a torch? Cloth. Well, I can make cloth. Just grab cotton. I don't, I don't know if it's that simple in real life, but cloth right. Torch. Okay, coal mine. No. I need to disable the caps lock on my computer. I had it disabled on my keyboard for the longest time. And then I re reset my operating system and never changed it again. He's probably still alive. No? Okay. He's dead. How am I missing? What is going on? Am I going above? I can't possibly be going above. Was there possibly something right in front of me that I wasn't seeing? No? Ah. Oh. No, I'm just missing. That's fine. Oh, I should drink some water. I'm very low on water and food. I know I have some. At least I usually do.
I could use some building blocks. Actually, I guess I can just make some more wood blocks. to be this claustrophobic here. Okay, all this is stone. I guess the vein is behind me? Unfortunate direction to place the ladder then. Oh well. like it should be coal, but it's not. It's hard to tell the difference between coal and stone sometimes. A lot of the time, I should say. Change the track. I just want something kind of chill. Okay, well, this is all lead. Where is the coal? <laughs> Not a problem if I can't get coal in my coal mine. It's kind of an important thing. I might as well try to grab the grapple while I'm here. Maybe this wall of gravel will lead me to coal. Oh, that is coal. I was right. Love level. There. The wall of gravel did lead me to the coal. Oh, it's going to be so fast to grab this, to, to just pick all this stuff up. You can tell when it's not cold because it doesn't break immediately. Hey, 
and also by not getting coal in my inventory. <laughs> that too. There's something about mining in this game, this game and Minecraft for me, that are just... It's just so calming to do it. Grab some lead while I'm here. I need that too. I need it for bullet tips mainly. Okay, that was cool. That is not. It might actually not be as efficient to mine gravel as it is to mine stone, but I don't care. I just see all the sand that I don't need to put through the cement mixer, and I'm like, yay. My cement mixer is tied up for that much less time. Eventually I'll want to have... I made four cement mixers, so I'm probably going to want to have, like, two, maybe three forges just for stone eventually. Just so I can keep pumping it out fast enough. I'll have to make a forge room for that. Okay, over 6,000 now. Cold. I think I want at least 12, if I can find it in here. Open up a lot. Still haven't decided what to do with my levels, but that's okay. Maybe machine gun stuff should be my first priority. What do I need the most immediately? That probably would be it. Actually, I am doing enough damage with my machine gun. Maybe not. And I am keeping up with the stamina, so I don't necessarily need Minor 69er. Though it might give me enough block damage to one-shot some of the metal blocks, so... Maybe. Maybe I should go for something different. some of the sand before it falls on me. I promise we will actually build this stream. That is my intention. I'm gonna make a chest. Not a congest, a chest. Ok, 
Okay, I want to make some wood blocks. I don't need too, too many. Just like 20. Then I'll make like 400 gobbles on rocks to go with it. Okay, stairs. There's probably some sort of stairs in here. Oh. Uh, wedge. Are stairs a wedge? Maybe. Or is there some other... Oh, no, there's just a stairs category that I'm not paying attention to. <laughs> well, that's just the question. Badly, so I'm gonna put it stairs right here. Copy shape and copy shape. Cool. That'll help a little bit because I intend to go downwards wherever the coal is. I shall follow. Okay, there we go. This seems to be where it is. I think it's mainly here now. Is there a coal there? No. Just here. I can't possibly have exhausted the coal vein. Coal veins are... Oh, like, the veins are pretty big in this game. Just, just like, veins of anything are big. How did I lose it? Unless the iron vein partially generated over the coal vein. That's not impossible. It is certainly in the way. And if we hit some stone. I, I like my little mine. Feels cute. I like my stairs. There we go. I assume there's no more, like, random coal over here. It's all iron. Yeah, that looks a lot like iron. I guess I'll just keep going around the iron vein. I should go back up the stairs, actually. I know there's... I mean, that's where the coal vein started, so if I go to the start, maybe that might help. Wow, we've already made a pretty big mine. Okay, where did I see it mainly? Well, I might as well dig the lead if I'm going to dig something. Oh, 
hopefully I'll come across some more coal. I mean, I can just make another mine, but this one's already made. <laughs> Oh, I'm back up to 24,000 stone. That's nice. finding anything. <laughs> hmm. Just more lead. I mean, like, the veins aren't necessarily going to be mixed together, so, like, I need to find a spot, like, around the vein that might have it. Oh, that was coal. But I think it was just, like, the dregs from before. That doesn't really help. All seems to be stone. So hard to tell. <laughs> it's like, ah, slightly shiny stone. You mean all of it? Even if I, like, attack the really dark spots, they all just seem to be stone. Oh, well, at least I'm getting a shit ton of stone. Hmm. I don't know. This is not looking good for coal. I guess I'm going to check underneath here. Because that's like the only other place I can think of. Well, there was one bit of coal. Oh! I got a little bit, but again, I don't think that's... I think it was just like the dregs left. Now, I think we managed to exhaust what hasn't been overwritten by other veins. That's unfortunate. Okay. Oh, there's a little bit of coal right there. Grab this. Last little bit. Eh. Oh. Darn it.
trying to get around to like the stuff on the far side of this. But it's now really high up because of how I've been mining. <laughs> I'll need to go get some food soon in the game. I'm summon my mini bikes, so I'll be fine. If anything falls right now above my head, my character's done. It's a bad spot. Uh, not to fall. Oh yeah, I'm running out of stamina now because I'm hungry. Hunger does that. Yep, I think I've successfully extracted just about every last little bit of coal that could possibly be down here. And that's my axe. Or my shovel. Okay, well, I'll leave this as another alternate mine if I need it. How much did I get? I got 10,000 coal, that's good. That's mo- it's not as much as I was hoping for, I was hoping for 12, but that should be more than enough to get me, well, a lot of stuff, so I'll be fine. Also, I grabbed some of these rocks too. Well, I can't. Because they're kind of going to be in the way eventually when I'm, like, driving around here. Actually, no, they won't, because I'm not necessarily going to live in this area. Is this my house? No, it's not my house. Where am I? Where the hell am I? Oh, wow, I'm all the way over here. <laughs> I forgot that I traveled so far. Oh, yes, our, or, or, our old horde house. Drop some stuff off. Oh, I don't actually have anything in here that's important. Okay, I have all the cement mixers now. So we can get lots of cement going. Or lots of some concrete mix going. I'll put the cement into them. Yeah, I, I had 500 made and I'm only making another 1,000 now. It's not like... you don't get very much very quickly out of one furnace. Lead in there. Bullet tips. And some forged iron. Grab the rest of the nails. 25, okay. I'll need those later. 
Not yet, but later. Okay. I should convert another 6,000 grapple. Or 6,000 sand. That should be enough. Wow, I'm doing way better than before. <laughs> I guess two hours of mining was absolutely worth it. Okay. Feathers. I don't have enough feathers to craft as many arrows as I want. Oh, I'm out of wood. <laughs> Give me my wood back. Okay, craft a bunch of those. I have 1,354 forged iron. That's good. I will use it, I'm sure. Don't need that. Okay, where do I make gunpowder? I know I can make... Okay, so I can just make it by hand. Oh, I can make a stack of gunpowder! Wait, no, it's a stack of coal. Okay, you can make a stack of gunpowder, but I can't get. Because I need explosives 30, and I need 14 more for that. It's... It takes two of two potassium nitrate and two coal to make a gunpowder. Uh, or, if you have the chemistry station, it takes one and one instead. So it's like, you get double the amount out. But... We need... Oh, we only need two more books so we can get the, uh, the chemistry station. That'll be good. I'm actually going to hold off on making any gunpowder then. Get that repaired. Let's salvage that. Last thing in there. Don't need a random swords chest. I hear something. Okay, that's a wandering horde. didn't, though. So I can get sneak attack on him. Kill him so he doesn't keep hurting my spikes. Anyone else? Usually they're bigger than that. The hordes. I think I'm good. Either that or they're already in the house. No, I'm good. Tape. 
Okay. I'm gonna go... We're gonna go on a short 10 minute intermission now that it's nighttime. And I will be back very soon. A chance to stretch and get water and stuff. See you all very soon.
Make it, everyone. I don't know how long that actually was. But I've returned it and I'm crafting again. It's gonna be so nice to move to another house. Have like a nicer place for the bed that's not like this. Have a better place for the Duke collectors that's not like this. <laughs> a better place for the land claim block, which definitely should not be like this. Can I pick this up and move it? Oh, it doesn't remove. Okay, it just destroys it. That's not exactly what I wanted to do. Thankfully, they're very cheap, so it doesn't matter, but. Kind of annoying. I could actually take off the entire roof of this house. And then just place the dew collectors on top of here. Though I don't think my axe is good enough to easily do that. Yeah, even with like a power attack and a normal attack, or just three normal attacks, like, uh, it takes a while. Yeah, I'll be okay. Eh, let me up. Okay, land claim block. I want to go like not like that. There. No! Oh my gosh. This is ass. There we go, that's where I meant to put it. Okay, I can get rid of the guides now. How close are these to the next... Hmm. Can I pick these up? Yes, I can. Okay. I'm gonna tear off part of the roof. Just because it's driving me insane. I'm gonna break this finally, just so it's out of my way. A lot more room in a second, just to do anything. I don't actually need to do the whole roof, like, I'd, I'm just gonna do half and that should be more than enough to place all of the dew collectors. The Drippy Meisters. I'm 
I'm trying to break the stuff underneath because I'm hoping to, like, drop it down. Because that'll destroy a lot of it if the roof kind of falls a bit. It won't damage the stuff underneath it, so I should be fine. How much wood does it take to break this roof? How much wood broken does it take? Technically, these floating blocks here are actually, like, connected to the ground, just as far as the stability engine is concerned. Okay, not that. That's not useful. Maybe after I break this? No. That. Of course I don't see any tracks around here. I'm on a roof. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Am I? No. Just wondering what would be the fast weapon to break this. These only have 30 durability, unlike the, the wood, which takes three hits, which is 500 durability. Much nicer. Ah, that means that. Just gonna finish this off, just so it doesn't look as horribly ugly as it could. And I don't really care about the rest down there. Good enough. Oh, I want to... I ideally want to uncover the trapdoor. I'm going to break the entire roof at, at this rate. I almost have broken the entire roof. I already have wood. Where's my... pair tool? I must have my claw hammer over at the other place. I mean, I can make more. Wait, I already have way more than enough of this on me. A hammer. I need duct tape. Of course I need duct tape. <laughs> what else could I possibly need? Duct tape is in everything. I guess to be fair, that's probably the easiest way to affix something if you have no skills. Wait, now I can make this in my inventory. Ooh, is there some concrete made? Some cement made. That's what I meant to say. Okay, 500. Nope. 250. 
250. It's gonna take to the end of the night for them to do for to do that anyways, so it's best to get them all running. Tons of repair kits now, that's nice. Oh, right. I'll do that after. Okay, I need my wood back so I can repair stuff. Okay, do collectors. Man, they're big. That's fine. I'll just do this. Uh, nope, I'm gonna move it over. So I ideally want to get more than one beside it. Oh, it's because this is, there's a torch here. Okay, that's what's going on. I don't need this top room. There we go. Fit more than one. How many can I fit here in a row? Three, apparently. Cool. They now surround my bedroll. That's perfect. I love that. And they're now working. Okay. Much, 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 much better. <laughs> that was terrible before. I need to go and repair the last few things I damaged. Just a few things. Okay, seem good. Let me just refill my ammo. 762. Put that in there. Put these in here. Bring that with me. I don't remember I have the claw hammer over there, so I'm going to bring it with me. Put that there. Actually, I'm gonna bring one of the writing writable storage boxes. I can I think I can make use of that. Okay. It is now oh no 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 no. That's a screamer. I fired too quickly. Okay. That one's dead. Anything else? Okay. <laughs> to the Horde base! Did I go the long way around? I might have. Yeah, there it is. Oh, it looks weird when it's loading in. Whoa. Also weird... Weird humps of land.
I don't need that. Okay, so I currently need some... Currently I have no way to get up here. So there is that. Okay, so I still have a fair bit of stuff here. That's good. Okay, so what I'm thinking... Is... We... I want to put down one of these writable storage boxes. I think I'm going to put it in the corner. Because I don't have to take up a spot for the chest. I can just put embed this in the floor. I mean, it's the only chest here, but I'm going to put... I'm just going to write on it. Supplies. Actually, do need the axe. These are concrete blocks. We don't really need them to be concrete. I might use these, like just the normal building cubes, and then I'll upgrade them to cobblestone rocks, because I have a lot of cobblestone rocks on me. Okay, grab some wood blocks, and then while that's happening, I'll also make some cobblestone blocks. Maybe... I need 270 to upgrade this. Plus 20. So 470. So I can do about 1,000. So about 100. Copy shape. And copy rotation. Oh yeah, I wanted to do some of these outer things with these with frames anyways because of that. Because of how awful it is to actually select it sometimes. Come on. No. Okay, too far. Darn it. Do I want the bars to be concrete? Maybe I do. Yeah, because of the cop projectiles. Plus, there's only air between here and the bottom where things will explode, potentially. So these actually do need to be concrete, but like, a lot, like the rest of the blocks here do not. Now I understand why I already had this is this. Come on. There we go. And unfortunately, I have to take out this concrete piece. And also, I had to paint it, because I don't want it to look like that. Paint all sides. 
And not panel sides. So a lot of these sides are not going to be like this. But I do want the bottom of this to be painted. There we go. song. I'm slowly adding songs to like a list that I like so that eventually I won't have to just go through whatever the random list is on SoundCloud. in there. Copy rotation. Put it on the edge there. As soon as you take these off the bar, I think they lose their rotation. Yeah, because these still have their rotation. Okay. this corner. Okay, good. That actually For a second I was like, is this am I actually doing the right thing? Yeah, no, I'm doing the right side. Alright, that's easy to pop in there. And I'll use a wood one for this because it's a pain to place because of that right there. You know what? I'm gonna place one there. Just so I can't place one there. There we go. There we go. Okay, okay. Oh, are we done? Cool, we're done. Now we can actually work on filling the top in here. This does not need to be concrete. This can be cobblestone rocks. Hit this, actually, before I do that. Cool. So I can have something to pillar with. Okay, I think I need to copy these because I'm going up one more level and then I'm making a a and my brain stalled roof. Yes. <laughs> oh no. No copy rotation. The fine placement of things is hard. Okay. Copy rotation. There we go. So glad that we have copy rotation and copy shape, because if we didn't, this would be so much harder. This would take so much more frickin' time. 
Copy, nope. Well, actually, yes. Copy rotation, copy shape. So you're going up there. No! Ow. Gosh darn it. No, not you. I don't want this in that direction. I think I'm going to put it over here. Just move it over a bit. Oh, and I can use wood for this. No. Okay, and I want the thin ladder. There we go. I like the thinner ladder. It looks better, in my opinion. Wait, hold on. I have an idea. Take out the top one. I'm just gonna put a frame there, just so I can't fall back in. That makes more sense to me. Put that there. Copy rotation. Put that there. Copy rotation. This here. Then, just need a basic sh shape. Just a block. Okay. And that gives me a roof. Good, good. I'll have to check what I use for colors again. Wood painted one. Wait, what is wood painted one? Wood painted one. Here we are. Okay. Paint surface. Cool. So this is meant to look like a tree you've hollowed out the inside of. This is meant to be like the inner side of the log. This one. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, that also did the bars. Oops. Okay, let me. Okay, for the for the bars, I'm going with green roof, wherever that is. Concrete green. Awning green. Green metal roof. Okay, I'm gonna do that, because that's what I want the color I want the bars. Swap back to paintbrush mode. Swap back to black wood. And do this manually. Okay, this is looking the way it's supposed to. Oh, I forgot. I need extra support here, actually. Let's just check the stability really quickly. So, what is this? This is stability 13. Ah, gosh darn it. So, stability 13 on, like, the worst parts. That's good. Okay, so that is the worst thing there, which is 12, which is okay. That's acceptable. However, I do have a solution for that. That'll make it a little bit... No, not that. That'll make it a little bit easier. Is it cube 5M round 3, or is that something separate? I don't remember what shape it was I was using. 
Actually, it might just have been pole. Yeah, it was pole. Yeah, that that fix that already like makes this already brings us up to density thir or stability thirteen, which is much better. Okay, so that just leaves the middle as stability 13, which is the worst of it, and that is very good, because a bunch of our old bill was stability 9, which is dramatically worse. As long as it stays above, as long as it's 12 or above, I think it's fine, is what my cursor cursory knowledge is has has suggested okay and that gives like a little bit of extra stability to this area having just like google corners i actually was going to have a chest like right here specifically and that broke the beam, which actually made this side, like, less stable. Like, this this beam doesn't matter if it is missing any of those three parts. So, yeah. But this fixes the problem, because now I can put stuff here and I don't have to worry. I'll leave some repair kits in there. Okay, so we already good. So looking good here. We still have the outsides of some of this stuff. It's fine. Paint surface. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, I'll just do it in singles then if it's not going to work easily. Yay, this is already starting to look really good. The wood is weirdly shiny. So I still need an entrance to this place, which I'm hoping will be a cave of some sort. Hmm somewhere. I'm not a cave, but like an underground entrance. So like maybe I'll have the trap door like over somewhere like there maybe? Like something somewhere fairly far away. Just so like I can go down there and just like run over here without like I want the horde zombies to have no chance of seeing the trap door basically to be out of their range. And that will make it, like, 100% proofed that way. We could actually make a uh, pathway in the basement that, like, a... We could actually go down far enough that uh, we could, like, have an area to, like, drive a vehicle in and just, like, drive all the way down to, like, something under the base of this. That'd be kind of cool. Also, like, really extra, but kind of cool. <laughs> so this... is block 949, right here. I can go... this line is 949z on the XYZ axis. Ooh, plane. Oh, airdrop. Is that, like, right by the house? No, it's the house is halfway between though. Okay, this is gonna be good. So I need to go over there somewhere and start building a path to get here. Not that that actually matters yet, because technically I can just pillar up here and it's fine. Oh, wait, I didn't even put the top on yet. Okay, there's that too. 
I, there's some decorative stuff I want to do on the top. Because this is a tree, and it's going to damn well look like a tree. Okay. Now I just have to remember how to do this. Actually, okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go and check the uh, creative model I made. Just to make sure I'm doing this right. Because I don't... <laughs> if I fuck this up, it's going to be a lot to replace it, so... Let's let's not do that. Okay, so, it is right on that block. Okay. And then I have a tr diamond shape here. Why do I have a diamond shape here? not do that? Oh, that looks awful. That's why I didn't do that. Okay. I'll go with something like that then. So the way that this is actually working is, if you weren't around for me showing this off, basically we have bottom bars here. Oh, welcome back, Ron. So we have bottom bars here, they're technically on the level of this, and then that level we are putting hedges, and the level above we're putting extra bars. And then on this level we're just, well, basically just putting bars there just because it's something to put there, and then this covers it. So for what you missed, Ron, I'm just looking back over the design so that I make sure that I do the roof right. The good thing about the bars is that you can shoot through them, and, and, and my brain has melted. Damn it. Okay, I think this is right. No, it's not that. Oh, I ran out. Okay, can I have this back? Thank you. 
And I guess I'll just do the rest out of wood. That's fine. Rotation, copy shape. And then I have, I guess I have to destroy this corner piece so that, oh. Hmm. Did I destroy the corner piece? It's so confusing. I should actually go get the hedges so that I know what I'm doing. How do you make hedges again? They're called something. Take core and miscellaneous, probably in here. I know they're craftable, I've already checked. Oh, building. Darn it. Okay. Plan B. Give me some... Plant fiber. Because I know you can make it with plant fiber. Or not. I've made these before. Huh. They have a hmm. Do I have to make this at the workbench, maybe? No, workbench things still show up. That's very confusing. I don't think I have to buy them. No, I've definitely made them. I'm trying desperately to remember where and how I made them. Because they're not showing up, but I do know I've made them before. I don't think they would be made from anything else besides... Actually, maybe there's wood in them. There's also wood in everything else, so... <laughs> that is kind of an issue, but... Darn it, I know... I know we can do this! Unless I somehow screwed this up, and I really hope not, because I kind of like this design a lot. It's not just some shape, is it? Okay. I'm confused. Go try to find a, a build that actually has it already. The mansion had it, but we destroyed that. They're basically just hedges that you have around your house. Big hedges. We don't have any over here. Probably shouldn't have left my bike behind. I'll have to go back and get it. Here they are. It's these hedges right here. I know you can make them, I just don't remember how. Oh. Oh, 
So what are these? Plant hedge prefab. Are they... Are they potted plants? They might be potted plants, it's possible. No, they are not potted plants. Hmm. Okay, let me check the wiki. I'd rather not do this on stream, but it's it's kind of blocking us right now. Okay, I'm going to go back to the house, the workbench. After I screenshot this, actually. Just so I have the actual name. Okay, it's very hard to screenshot it, though. Okay, it's just Plant Hedge. Let me go back and grab my bike and then go back home, rather than just walking. Ah, so this is the McCormick residence. I've seen this for quests quite a few times. I think I did a quest in here, actually, recently. Okay, let's see... Let's see if I can craft these in the workbench, maybe. Because I'm super confused as to why I can't seem to craft them. Because I could swear, like, I made sure that when I was looking this stuff up that, like, I could craft it somehow. It was, like, one of the qualifications for whether I was going to use something or not. Unless I just made a mistake, which is also possible. Technically, this would be decorative. Look at this. Is there something... Okay. The building... None of these shapes work. I might have to look into this off off stream just to find out what's going on. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to run to the trader really quickly and see if I can buy it from him or not. I don't really know. Don't really know what else to do right now. Maybe I should worry about this a different day. You know what? I'll do that between like between streams. I'll research how to get this and figure that all out. It makes more sense to do it that way. This is worse armor rating, but it's better stamina better mobility, and less noise. 
This has four mo three mod sockets. And this has three mod sockets. Okay, I'm probably going to use the le this one then. Even if it has less armor, it's still... It's less of a pain to use it. Yeah, 0.9 of an armor is not worth it, and I don't get in many explosions either. Having more stamina would be really nice. Having more mobility would be nice. And noise is not ever good. Oh, this stuff just can't be put on lower tier things. Okay, this is... 0.56. What happens if I put this on it? It doesn't show. It takes it on to 0.56, and this is 0 0.02? This does basically nothing, then. Now, if I want to actually use mods, then I need to use this, plus this does decrease my noise at least. It's really frustrating. I really wish they would make the military armor and the leather armor better than the cloth armor already. Well, okay. I know that they're doing that because it's in the next update. We just haven't gotten it yet. Okay, bandolier. You're going on here. Yeah, it's 600 now. I'll sell that. I have a lot of plant fibers. It'll be easy to make this thing when I figure out how. Whenever that is. Okay. Whatever. Oh, it's day 40. Actually, we've been going for three hours. Three days a time. The next horde is going to be on day 42, so that'll be next stream then, no matter what we do. Off stream, I can figure out the way to get the hedges, however I'm supposed to craft those. And we can come back, work on the hedges on the next stream, and actually finish off, like, the decor and stuff. We got a lot of stuff done this stream, though. Like, just look at how much shit we have now. <laughs> we have... So much stone. We needed that so badly. Actually, I can put some more concrete on. Always more to do in this game. I'm very much out of space, though. Very badly out of space. Just for anything, really. I'll have to, like, split this up into chests and stuff. Somehow. It'll be much easier once we actually use the rightable storage boxes, but I don't want to do that until we have a house. Not that they're very expensive, though. 
Are they? I mean, they were only, like, nails and... Twelve wood. Yeah, that's not very expensive. Okay. Next stream, we will make a storage room. Or I'll do it off stream. Whatever, whatever works out. And we'll finish off the hedges after I figure it out. And then we'll do the horde. No, we will expand the platform underneath the tree and put actual defenses there and then we do the horde because there's no real defenses yet so kind of kind of not useful yet but we're getting there just takes a little bit of time I thought I heard a screamer for a second Okay. We'll sort all this stuff out later. Thank you all for watching today. For everyone who is here and has been here, I appreciate it. I really like being able to stream for people, so... It's... It's fun. I was actually thinking today that, like... Like, while I was editing a video, because, uh... I'm, I'm still working on tomorrow's video. Which is just going to be another 7 Days to Die video, because... Today, because I already finished Thursdays, which is the Path of Exile, the last Path of Exile video. Um, I was thinking today, if I could, if I could have this as my real job, like if I could just do this as a job, just editing videos and stuff. Like even if I'm not making the content and just doing that on the side and then editing videos mainly, that would be fun. Really would. It's pretty enjoyable to do. I don't know if this will ever be a job. I mean, like, I have 13 followers and 8 subscribers on YouTube. <laughs> but, I mean, it could be fun. Nice, nice dream to have. Okay. Have a good night, everyone. Thank you so much for coming. Bye.